Fort Ross is a historic site located on the coast of California, about 80 miles north of San Francisco. It was established in 1812 as a Russian settlement and served as a hub for the Russian-American company Furs Trade Operations in North America. The fort was built to protect Russian interests in the region and was home to a diverse community of Russians, Alaskans and Native Americans. It was also an important centre for agricultural production with crops like wheat, corn and potatoes being grown on its lands. Today, Fort Ross is a state park and a national historic landmark. Visitors can explore the restored fort buildings and learn about its history through guided tours and exhibits. The park also features hiking trails, picnic areas and a scenic view of the Pacific Ocean. Fort Ross is a fascinating glimpse into California's past and a testament to the rich cultural heritage of the region. To be honest, the first time we came to Fort Ross, we kind of stumbled upon it. We hadn't decided where we were going that day. We were just going to drive up the coast and stop off at any interesting places we found. As we pulled into the parking lot, more out of eagerness to break into our picnic than anything, we were hit with the awe-inspiring views and intrigue into what we had stumbled upon. Even though the fort was interesting, the best part for me was the beautiful and rugged Northern California coastline, offering a diverse range of wildlife habitats, and only a short walk down from the fort, it would also be criminal not to get up close and personal with the coastline. The rocky shoreline is home to a variety of marine animals, including harbour seals, sea lions and sea otters. These marine mammals can often be seen playing and feeding in the waters near the fort, the park is also home to several species of seabirds, such as pelicans and gulls. Fort Ross is a great place to experience the natural beauty and diversity of Northern California's wildlife. I would come for the coastline and enjoy the fort.